All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design. Learn more about CSS pseudo selectors by building a balance sheet. Step four. All right, so screen readers announce HTML elements based on the document flow. We will eventually want the balance sheet to have a heading of balance sheet and a subheading of Acme Widget Corp. However, this order does not make sense if announced by a screen reader. So we're going to give our existing span the class attribute set to flex. And we're going to add two span elements within it, and then we're going to give the first, pardon me, give the first the text Acme Widget Corp. Then we're going to give the second the text Balance Sheet, and then we're going to use CSS to reverse the order of the text on the page. But the HTML order will make more sense for a screen reader. Okay. So we're going to add two span elements. So let's just take this and let's do this. That's ugly. Let's try something else. Let's do this. Would that work? Yes. All right. Uh, and then let's move these ones over. All right. So inside of this one, we're going to say, uh, what are we going to say here? Let's say uh, Acme Widget Corp. All right. Pardon me. Oh, my goodness. This is annoying. All right. Should have did it right the first time, right? And then the second one, we'll say balance sheet. Let's get this. Put it right here. All right. Now, let's test it. Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. We got to uh, put the class attribute to flex on this one. So, we'll say class equals string flex now let's check it all right and submit it okay now we're on to step five and we'll see you next time